bloat can occur in two forms, but it is a frothy bloat that we are most, that we are most familiar with. The foam produced in the rumen is made up of tiny little bubbles that trap the air and prevent gas from being burped out. The cause of these bubbles has been debated over the years, but we now know that there are a number of factors that contribute. Two main factors I want to talk about include high, level, high levels of soluble protein. The second factor that needs mentioning is the production of a slime within the rumen. And this is produced when, when certain components of the plant cell wall are broken down. Now high levels of soluble protein mean that we have high levels of nitrate or nitrite within our plants. Under normal situations, this nitrate will be converted through to nitrite, to ammonia, to an amino acid, and then to a true protein. Now if this whole process happens within the plant, we can refer to this as plant protein. In many cases, we need for this, this procedure to be finished in the rumen, in which case the protein is actually microbial protein. The high incidence of bloat occurs when the nitrate and nitrite are actually trapped in the plant. Now this is particularly common with legumes, but is also common under certain conditions. For example, frosts, heavy dews, overcast weather and shorter day lengths all contribute to having higher soluble protein levels within the feed. Um, the reason that these factors are, are so important is that for this process to happen, it relies on, well firstly a number of enzymes, but it also relies on high levels of starch and sugars to actually carry out what they call nitrate reduction, which is basically the removal of oxygen. One of the bacteria strains within DFM is Bacillus subtilis. Now, it is well recognised as improving digestion, but it's less recognised that it actually releases an enzyme called nitrate reductase, which is absolutely essential in having this, this procedure happen. So Bacillus subtilis and DFM actually play a big role in making sure that soluble protein levels are converted through to a true protein rather than, being, rather than remaining as soluble protein contributing to bloat. I said earlier that another contributing factor to bloat was the slime that is produced in the rumen when certain plant, um, plant components are fermented. The, one of the enzymes in DFM, beta-glucanase, actually plays a key role in reducing the amount of slime produced. It means that the foam produced, those tiny bubbles, is less stable, so the gas is more able to escape. So beta-glucanase plays a second role in helping prevent bloat. In this way, DFM can actually replace many other additives that we used to feel obligated to, to add to feeds. You can feel quite confident that by including DFM you will have some protection against bloat, particularly when it's coupled with good management skills um, in order to reduce the levels of soluble protein um, and reduce the the likelihood of bloat occurring.